Hey you guys, it's Asmara and welcome back to the channel. We're getting back into heavy rain. I'm still troubleshooting those internet issues like I mentioned in the first part uh, because I definitely still want to play this game, at least part of it live with y'all. Um, so that's still in the works, so I figured I'd just sit here, give y'all a long video, um, and just get more into this story. Okay, last where we left off, Jason had just passed. I, I kind of like the the rain drops like on the screen. That looks nice. Oh, you just go you just go sit there. You go say some. Oh, hey kid, is that Sean? I think his name is Sean. Hi Sean. Hi dad. This is sad. Alrighty, let's see if I can still remember these controls. Um. You want to get an umbrella? You're going to get sick. You're going to get a cold. I need to bundle up more. All right, hop in the whip. Make sure the kid puts the seatbelt on. Hello? Why doesn't that one go? Okay, let's do the mirror first. Oh, he's buckled in. Uh, seatbelt. Do that. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm doing uh, wrong with those particular action movements. Maybe it's have to do it slower. I don't know. Whatever reason it's taking, it's like not registering. All right, now we're driving off into the city in the pouring rain. Imagine it like rains throughout this whole game, you know, heavy rain. <laughs> All right, here we are. Look at that train. That train up top. Is this our new house? What happened to the mom? Oh no. It looks so sad in here. I need to hang up the paintings. Put some decorations on the wall. Can I move? Oh, no. I can't move just yet. Sean. What does that say? Oh, oh I couldn't read that. Alright, let's go. Uh. Oh, did, did they go away? How do I go? Oh, here are the thoughts. Let's talk about Sean hasn't done homework. His homework yet. Uh, okay, were you going to elaborate? Let's talk about Grace. Grace. Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Yes. Are they divorced? That's sad. Okay. Uh, I wonder what happened Time with for that. Snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. You, you're just, you have so many thoughts. I Schedule. wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. If Sean is hungry, he can find something for himself. And then no homework. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. <laughs> okay. Just run through all of his thoughts. All right, let's go ahead and get Sean a snack. What is this? Uh. Oh, we're just looking at the time. Okay. <laughs> um, what is what does this say? 4:30 snack, homework, dinner, bed. Got you. All right, so let's go ahead and get him a snack. What are you gonna get? When I was younger, I used to always get uh bagel bites. <laughs> I literally cannot eat bagel bites anymore because I had them so much as a kid we still got that same orange juice what what is this that's not a snack this is for me he's gonna drink it straight from the you know the carton again nasty i don't know why you know cups don't exist look you even got the glasses right up there Okay, what can we- wait, so what can we get for Sean? That's what I was concerned about. What's in here? Can we go outside? Okay, we're just going to emotionally take it in. Can we go down these stairs? What's out here? This is so sad! There doesn't seem to be anything out here that we can interact with. 
All right, let's go back inside. And what I was trying to do is find a snack for Sean. Can we talk to him at all? Uh, he hello, where are you going, sir? Oh, was he getting his snack? I don't know why we couldn't interact with that earlier. Anyways, I guess he's he's taking care of it himself. He gets some chips. I don't know why we can't talk to him. I'm so confused. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Oh no, that's so sad. Uh, discuss. So, discuss what? You wanna talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know about you, your friends. How why why the camera angle so close? Special. This is really sad. Uh, how was school? How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. <laughs> this is really depressing. Do you want me to get your dinner? No, thanks. I'm not hungry yet. Alright, and he probably doesn't want us to talk about homework. Uh... Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad. Let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? <laughs> Alright, we, we'll let him do it later. All right, he seems I'll to be going through some come things. Come back a little later. His brother did die, you know, not that long ago. I mean, I don't know how much, like, further in the future this is from the last event, but... Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go see what's on this side of the house. I wonder what happened to Grace as well. Um, we kind of already went, we went over in this side. What is this? Go ahead, turn on the laundry. All right, let's leave. What if we go upstairs? Um, oh, what's over here? Oh, just the light. Oh, this is the, the front. Okay, you're just going to look dramatically. I don't get why it gives you all these interactions if they, like, don't do anything. That is something I don't understand. It's like, why give me the option if you're not going to say nothing or do nothing? You know? <laughs> Anyways. Um, ooh. Is this his room with the rainbows and the sunshine? Oh, look at his, like, stuffed animals. Power of the stuffed animals. What'd he draw? Oh, no! That is so sad. Why that bird look like the Duolingo bird? Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and leave. Um, what about our room? What's in here? Um, oh, this is like, ooh, do you do art, Ethan? Oh, he's an architect or something? Here we go. Get the dust off. Oh, why you go turn on this this video? I guess remember his dead son. Yeah, we should we should change that. Let's not you know bring up the the memories. Y'all need to go to therapy. <laughs> You, the kid, y'all all need to process this trauma. Oh no. I thought he was gonna work on some stuff. Anyways, okay. Um, that's what's in that room. What's in here? Oh, it's just the bathroom? I thought we just passed by a bathroom. I'm just gonna wash the hands. Oh, so now you can wash your hands, Ethan. So if that's the bathroom, what is this room? Oh, this is our bedroom? Well, that's quite the uh, wallpaper you have there. Let me turn on the light. That is a funky wallpaper. Oh, what's happening? Uh, He's getting another bag of chips. Should we start, try to prompt him to like do more homework? Or start, start his homework? Cause that's the next thing that's on the, the list. Uh, 4.30 snacks, six homework, seven dinner. Yeah. All right, can we talk Sean, about our homework now? Sean, you wanna do now? your homework now? 
I'm sleepy, Dad. I'm too tired to do it right now. Too bad. We should have done it earlier. We'll try to be oh, better well. organized next time, okay? Alright, can I see? Can I... There we go. I think I fixed the problem I was having with the... The controller. I had to go into the the controller settings for this game. And, like, make it... I don't know what exactly I did. I looked it up on Google. But okay, what are you what are you watching? We got explosions, voodoo. Oh girl, I don't mess with that. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so can we go to sleep now? Let's let's go ahead and have Come him go on, to bed. Sean. It's time for bed. He didn't do his homework, but I'm listen. I'm not tired yet. Can I step a little longer? Boy, you did all you ate was chips. Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. Exactly. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Literally, all he was chips and watch TV. On your pajamas. I'll come up. You see how pajamas was spelled with a Y? Ta. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and turn off this TV. Um, we also didn't make dinner. I just realized that. The origami killer strikes again. Wait, origami killer strikes again. Seventh victim identified. The police have confirmed that the modus operandi is... I'm, I can't read that fast. Wait, go, go back to that. I cannot read that fast. Okay, I will say that is one thing that I have to be more conscious about when playing this game is that things are like timed and I do not like when my actions are timed. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go back upstairs and uh, put Sean to bed. Did, why he sleep like that? Oh my goodness. Can we tuck him in? Good night, Sean. My teddy, I haven't got my teddy, Dad. You must have left it somewhere in the house. Did y'all see his mouth? Do you mouth? have any idea where it could be? No, see his Dad. full set of veneers? Please, I can't Bro Boy, you need some chapstick. Okay, let's get, get his All teddy. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? Y'all see them chap lips? Girl, you need some chapstick. Okay, so we need to find his teddy bear. Where is the teddy? It's not in the bathroom. Girl, I had to, like, learn controls at the other house or like learn the layout of the other house now we got a new house to learn the layout of let me see where where is this teddy i don't know where his teddy is listen i was too busy looking at them chapped lips i need some vaseline on them okay let's go downstairs to see if we see anything downstairs oh, oh here it is that looks like it's oh that's cute i like the color nice and teal oh he fell back asleep again all right, here we go. Okay, I think the settings that I messed around with, I'm pretty sure um, it's working better now because I'm not having issues doing the rotation commands. <laughs> Give him a kiss goodnight. Oh, I'm gonna hold it down. Good night, Sean. Even though we did not make dinner, did not do his homework, listen. Alright, do I have any other thoughts? Oh, go I don't to sleep. Feel tired. I'll go downstairs, grab some fresh Oh, grab some fresh air. Oh my god, wait, we're being watched? Y'all. Is he gonna fall out? And we only have a kid in the house? Wait, what? What's happening? I thought he was about to fall out. I was like, somebody call 911. Shorty fire burning on the dance floor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's the origami. Y'all. So the killer was out here watching us. Can I move? I can't move just yet. Is this a dream? Are we going to wake up or is this like real life? What's that sign say? Carnaby Corner North. Is that going to be important later?
Possibly. Ew! Who is that? Back up! Who is that? Okay, Tuesday. Why'd you say 06 a.m.? What? That's not a time. Who is this? Uh, we're at a motel. Okay. You a detective? Why are you just standing there? All right, let's go inside. Alrighty. So we have the office. I don't know why this. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't I don't say know. It's it kind of reminding me of the Wolf Among Us. Who are you? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor. Last oh, is door this on the left at the end of the corridor? Is this like freaky stuff? Okay, the floor to the left, the third corridor. <laughs> Got a cutscene just to go upstairs. Okay, Sims 4, I see you. Okay, wait, left, third corridor. Okay, one. Is it this one? Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh, hello. Wait. I think this is... Okay. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Okay, is it is this man just like trying to get some services? He Because he kind of looked like a detective. I was like, is he trying to figure out what's happening with the killer? He just trying to get Put his freak on. on. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Oh, okay. That's a cute picture, a painting on the wall. Is that 50 bucks? Boy, that don't look like no 50 bucks. Okay, I might have to blur some stuff out. <laughs> you should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. That's what I was thinking. I was like, he looks like a detective. I should have known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Okay, the Scott. families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I, came I love here that just painting to, to the right, though. About Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Uh, let's be compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I don't like how those like know options move oh, yeah? so fast. You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Her head just glitched. Let's persist. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead. Everybody's like losing their kids. Oh, let's, let's buy her. I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. It's really sad that everybody's losing their tell babies. You about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> um... What's this? We'll, well give her some more money. Anything, the smallest oh. detail. <laughs> give me a call. There we go. Okay. Anyways, that don't look like no fifty dollars on the table. That look a five dollar bill. <laughs> Anyways, I kind of like some of the decor in her apartment. Those pillows are nice. This wallpaper is kind of cute. I like the pink light on the ceiling. I don't know, I like elements of your interior decorating. And I especially love that painting that kind of looks, it's like Marilyn Monroe-ish. I don't know, I like that. Is that her kid? Oh no. I think that's her kid on the nightstand, on the picture. We can't go look at it. Yeah, it's probably sorry. We can't just go snoop through people's apartments, you know? Um. Anyways, okay, let's leave. Alrighty. Are we gonna go to- Oh! <coughs> He's 
seems to be choked up by the force. Um. Oh, RB. Is that man just like walking past as we're like losing our breath? Lauren. Lauren, open up, baby. It's, it's me. me. What are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. Oh, we go talk to him. Really wanted to see ya. Oh, what? Hello? What? Hello? Can you just bust in? What do you want, asshole? Bust in! Lauren, is everything all right? Clearly not. She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Oh my god. Uh, b bust it in. You again? Hey, <laughs> you again? You're looking for trouble, you found it. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm feel like gonna the QTEs. The ah! Okay, oh. okay, A. Oh my god. Ah! Up. Oh, I do like how that has arrows. Uh, Beyond Two Souls did not have the arrows to do the, the quick times. So you just kind of had to guess. Oh my god. Uh huh. A. Oh. Oh, oh. He picked up the chair. Oh my god. I am the cops. He said, I'll call the cops. Listen, I am the cop. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Take that. Um, B, A, uh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Can you, can you call them? Can you get back up? Lauren. All right, smash B. Ah! A, down, down. How much longer is this fight sequence? <laughs> also, Quantic Dreams got better with their fighting sequences the <laughs> in the in the later games. We'll say that. I'll see you again, asshole. Okay, can you leave, please? Oh my god. Girl, you could have right? called for backup? You just saw me get my Let ass me my whooped. Guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. Clearly, you he need to get some locks on your door. I don't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Exactly, get Sorry some locks on your door. Get a ring doorbell. Mr. Shelby. You can see who's yeah. out there before. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, sis need to get a ring doorbell so she can see who's outside before she opened the door. In case somebody try to run up and bust down the door like that. Oh my god, so much has happened. So my guy was losing his breath. I don't know if that's also like because Ethan, that same thing happened. A reminder, press and hold down the indicated button simultaneously until they disappear. But okay, yeah. So like I was saying, Ethan, that same thing happened where he was like like losing his breath like it's almost like he's having an asthma attack um and he ended up with a piece of origami in his hand so i'm wondering if that the same thing will happen to that detective detective shelby i think his name is um the next time we see him oh the next thing is starting top all right anyways okay 805 a.m something inches why does that inches i don't even know what that means <coughs> Excuse me. I had to cough. All right, what is this? His hand's trembling. Oh my goodness. Okay, getting out the car. Who is this? Is this a different character? Is this a different white man? Um... <laughs> okay, let's see. Actually... The is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. Oh, this is, a, yeah, this is a, this a different white man. Yeah. Yeah, of course. 
All right, we had, we're in the FBI. Check. You can pass. Not check. You can pass. Blake. Who's Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. All right, that is the least helpful person. He said, "I'm looking for such and such. Is he here?" Well, I saw him earlier, so maybe. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we can check out here? No. All right. So we're on the crime scene. I'm guessing this is probably another origami killer. Oh, with the dad glasses, the suburban dad glasses. What? What? <laughs> Video memo recording. Oh my Engine god. Four seven zero two three. Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, October fourth, two thousand and eleven. He's activating his like Spider-Man suit. Like, why is there so many things on the screen when he puts on those glasses? Okay. Oh, RB. Got it. The recording. He got them Google Glass glasses. Uh. Oh, he can take off his glasses too. We should probably put those on, right? Yeah, let's put those back on. Okay, and- oh, oh. And we still recording. Okay, do you know who Blake is? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. G you can't respond? Oh, hey. Just sitting here pointing? I swear, it's gonna, like, be raining in, like, every scene. Hence the title, Heavy Rain. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, can't can't scrub up the J's. <laughs> can't get mud on his sneaks. All right. Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Were we supposed to investigate? I hope not. This morning they told me to be here. It now, didn't look like there for was rain, much to investigate. Dead bodies and highways. You come to the right place. Mike, we tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes. I can't hear myself. Thank you. Right away, the bulldozer. Are you coming, Jaden? <clears throat> Are you coming? What are the so, facts? What happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much oh. more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. He left an origami. Uh, are there any witnesses? Any witnesses? None yet. Now, given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Is any that supposed to mean? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. You calm down? Um, precautions. Look, he's gonna catch a, a cold out here. Scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? They just walk Don't around. Don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. Oh my goodness, can I actually turn down the sound of the rain? Sound effects, we turning that down. No. No, of course right. not. That's that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Okay. What is the the time? Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. Okay, so we got fresh body out here. Had a look. Uh, coming, yeah, yes. I'm coming. You moving so slow. Let me see. Uh, any leads? Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind. We'll find it. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. You're Why just walking we around. All this a little later. Back at the office. Oh, well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. <laughs> hey. Jay, Why his face like that? Come Ooh. See me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Okay. All right. So I think we can actually do some investigating. I wonder if we can talk to any of the men who are just standing around here, you know, being given orders. Okay. Let's put on our glasses again. Our cool futuristic glasses. What happens if I press the right bumper to stop recording? Oh, what? What is that? What? What is that? What is happening? Like, I swear, this is like Spider-Man when he puts on his suit. Colin Smith, Harry born Cameron, March 30th. No Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Is he, like, identifying footprints? 
Oh, I see the footprints on the ground. I guess we're skating for like DNA or anything. Oh, there's something here. What's that? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Why does this sound like like an educational video? <laughs> the pollen is decreasing as with the presence of the rain. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, can we talk? Let's talk about the murder. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but <laughs> who are you exactly? Exactly, we're, we're doing the introductions. FBI. They all know. They're like, who the freak is that? You should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Oh dang! It's pretty, pretty chilly. chilly, huh? <laughs> Excuse you. These people are rude. I'ma leave. Oh wait, here's one. Here's another thing. What's this? Is it like a plant again? Oh, there's a bottle. Oscar, born in Pennsylvania, bank manager, no criminal record. Unrelated to the investigation. Okay. And also, what are these futuristic, like, Connor-like abilities that this man has with these glasses? <laughs> Connor from uh, Detroit. Doesn't seem like there's any other DNA over here. So, can we talk to Homegirl? Can we talk to any of y'all? No? Why are, they, why are these like, random civilians over here? Can we can we talk to them? Can they give us any useful information? Um, unless- The body must be under the tarp near the lights. The tarp near the lights. Okay, let's go over there. That'll probably give us some information. I'm heading back to the office. Oh. You staying? Yes, stay. Yeah. I need to I go look at the- look, around if you don't mind. look at the body. Take all the time you want. All right, thanks. You didn't really help me with any information to begin with. So I think this is the body. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. There's the origami. Ooh. We go, what, left, left. Oh, let's see, let's look at this. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. He's like, I need to take him out. Take him out nice. Take him out with a bouquet. <laughs> take him out with respect. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Alrighty, and what's this? The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Okay. Is that it? Oh, what's this? A DNA? wound on the right thigh. Blood oh analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. This is a lot Probably of information. a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, there's this. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Okay. I think that's all the evidence, so we can go ahead and get up. Um, what other... Dude, what other thoughts does he have? Um, killer. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down mm -hmm. to the tiniest detail. At least he's, you know, good at crime. Uh... <laughs> Not that crime is ever good, but like, y'all, some people who be committing crimes, you leave in all the evidence. I would think if you're going to commit a crime, you at least want to be good at it. Uh, let's talk about the body. The killer must have carried the body here. Gotta be tracks around here somewhere. Oh, so there's tracks. Blood. The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Okay, so basically you have to find these traces. Was the body moved from like where this, uh... Where this, like, yellow... Airy comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Oh, got you. Oh, here's a train. Oh, what is this? Is that traces of blood? Airy comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Is Airy, like, Siri or something? 
Okay, so we found another blood tracks. That's probably where the victim was carried. His body was carried. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. I see. Okay, uh, let's keep going down this way. Oh, what's this? Mary More Connor, blood. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Got you. Okay, so we going up. Up the slope. You want to oh. call for backup? Girl, you just messed up your whole outfit. All right, here we go. Oh, oh <laughs> did I miss something? I press B. Okay, wait, let's run that back. That didn't happen. Oh, I had to hold it. I thought it was smash. All right, sorry, dude. I, I messed up your messed up your look. Messed up the drip. Oh no, X. Okay. Um, A. Girl, this you acted like this is like the climb of a lifetime. B. Y. <laughs> this is the most strenuous activity he's done all year. Me. Okay, so we up here. Let's go scan. Is there any more evidence? Oh, here it is. Got some more foot. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Oh, here's something else. What is this yellow line? Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. Oh, is that all? Is that the game's way of telling me you have finished? Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, uh, you kind of have um, mud already on you. There's nothing more I don't think the cars could do that you didn't already do to yourself. All right, let's go back down. A, B. Uh, let's go down. Oh, what, look at look at look at him. <laughs> oh, oops. B. Doing his two step, <laughs> trying to get down the the thing. Anyway, so the lieutenant is gone. Lieutenant Blake or whatever his name is. I'm not sure who we need to report back to now. Alright, let's get back in the car. Next time I need to bring an umbrella. Alright. Turn on the car. We got the information. I hope I didn't have to report back to anybody. I didn't see anybody else to report back to. Lieutenant Blake or whatever, he he's gone. And he did say the guy we're playing, I think I've seen all I need to see, so makes me think that we've got all the clues. Or the information from the crime scene. Alrighty. I've unlocked a new bonus. FBI investigator. That's my new achievement. Uh what? Hello? It looks like a butterfly. A butterfly. Oh, this is an ink blot test. It looks. It doesn't look like any of these things. Let's say wolf. A wolf's head. Uh, it looks like a crab to me. A crab. Ew! That guy's face in the corner. It looks like the Grim Reaper. Death. Death. <laughs> yeah, we we heard you. I think this is Ethan again. Anxiety, what is, we're doing a brain scan. It's a big old room. You ain't gonna say nothing? I have the results of your MRI scans. That was Everything fast. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've gotta start over, Ethan. 
You're not responsible for what happened. I mean, you kind of are, but... It's my fault Jason is dead. <laughs> He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. You're not wrong. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Uh, not good. He's unhappy. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, he needs, like, a therapist no, or something. he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I don't, I don't know how he feels. I no longer want to live. Oh, dang, I didn't know he was going to say that. I have no reason to continue. You have Sean. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. And what happened Sean to your wife? A father like me. Like what happened to Gray? Did she leave you because she thinks you're responsible? Is there something else you wanted? He's to like, I need a better people? protector of this family. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, uh. Have there been any cases of split personality developing after concussion, like people doing things but having no memory of what they've done? Like somebody else had been doing them. It's a very specific question, but I get why I you asked it. <laughs> in certain cases, a violent shock to the brain can cause serious psychological disturbances, like schizophrenia, for example. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Oh no. That's all he had attached to him. You were lucky, Ethan. Do you know that brain scan was like to survive such a traumatic headphones. <laughs> I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. This is sad. It's a fancy looking brain scan room. Anyways. Let's see, 4, 10 p.m. Something inches. Um, you wanna play? Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Sean needs help. Um, he's probably not gonna answer, but I'll say school. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my bad. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, <laughs> we'll really pull it together, okay? He gonna say he hungry too, because we didn't make him dinner last night. Do you want to eat something? Oh, no. Is something the matter, Sean? Well, clearly something's wrong. No, I'm alright. No, you're not. I still want to know what happened to Grace. I'm gonna keep saying that until I get closer. Let's see, what's in his backpack? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? That is true. How do boomerangs work? Wasn't that like a uh, a show, like a channel? Right, right trigger. Oh my god. Here we go. Like, I'm pretty sure that was a kid's channel, boomerang. <laughs> oh, hey! Wow! How do they work? Ew! Do you see the way he did his face? I mean, I'm glad he's happy, but of the animations, I'm sorry. Okay, right bumper, right trigger. And then we get the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. All right. Whoa, you did it, Dad. Did yes. You want to try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on. You should try. try so speak to the Debbie Downer. The main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. And, and then it's the flick of the wrist. And a little to the right. Alright, let's help him. Right bumper. Now. Throw it! Watch it like hit somebody in the street. Top. Alright. Ah! Did it hit him? Oh I no, did. he caught it. I he caught it! Dead. I Good thought job, that was gonna like John. hit him in the face. See? That wasn't so hard. Neck gonna be split. Alright. 
Good things are happening right now. We want to keep this up. <laughs> it's good to see him happy. Is he gonna go play now? Oh no, he's just gonna go back on the bench. Um. Okay, I don't exactly know what I'm doing here at the playground. Like, I'm not gonna go talk to no kids, you know? Police, hello? Swing, oh we could ask him if he wants to swing. I love swinging. You wanna go play on the swing? I'm trying to convince my parents to get a, okay. uh, a swing set in the backyard <laughs> of the new house <laughs> and so we got we got room to put it listen it'll be like for my nephews but also for me too because i like swings or trampoline something <laughs> come on dad higher oh, this is cute <laughs> It's smiling! Yay! Oh, I missed it. You're not pushing dead. I, I, I missed it. Hold on. Okay, X. Let's go. Come on, dad. Higher. <laughs> He's laughing. I love that. <laughs> that was cool. You enjoyed that? You having fun? With them full set of veneers in his mouth. <laughs> the character design has drastically improved. Uh, let's see if he wants to go on a carousel. Have y'all seen a carousel at a playground? Like, who has these at the playground? Can we get tickets over here, maybe? Hello? Hello, sir. I guess not. Let's see, what else can we interact with? Merry-go-round. What about that merry-go-round? I bet That's I can not push as fun so as the fast, carousel. You won't be able to stay on it. Great. <laughs> he needs to make some friends at the playground too. That's not his father. Listen, but I less so blame the kid more than you know, the adult. Gotta create that environment where the kid can thrive after Go on, Dad. trauma. As best as you can. All right, boy, you need to get it. You know, hold faster. on. Faster! Come on! Faster, this is making faster. me dizzy just looking at this. Listen, I get very easily lightheaded. You watch it. Don't. I hope he does not fall out. Because remember, <laughs> the origami killer has that asthmatic, causing those asthmatic responses. <laughs> Whoa! I oh. think my head is spinning. <laughs> yep. Good training Watch for out. astronauts, though. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I like that he's playing. I like how he's smiling. Looks like rain's coming. Rain's been coming this I whole game. Y'all okay. didn't hear what the name of this game is called? <laughs> Heavy rain, hello? Alright. I think his backpack's still there. You know, sometimes I remember nobody, before. Nobody jacked. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Yes. Me too, Sean. That's why we should get him counseling. Me too. Alright, you guys, backpack. Where he going? Why are we following him? He's the kid. Shouldn't he be following me? Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? I say yes. Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Okay, perfect. I was actually saying that. I was like, why don't we put him on the carousel? I guess I was still doing that previous round. All right. Hello, sir. One, please. That's a dollar. You wanna say hello? How are you? <laughs> Let's watch him. And also, what type of playground has a carousel? Literally just in the middle of a playground. Like, what city does this take place in? 
Oh, and we're being watched by the origami killer again. Uh oh, he gonna fall out? He gonna have an asthmatic attack? Uh oh. Now we're oh, oh my god. Did I miss that? I might have missed that one. That that like literally scared me. <laughs> um Hope your limbs are still intact. Sean? He ain't out here. Or where are we running to? Oh my god. I'm still trying to figure out if these like flashbacks are even like real. Like I be I thought they were just kind of in his head. This is backpack. Um, because if these, like, flashbacks that are happening are, like, for real, then yes, that should be concerning. But I thought he was just, like, tripping, like, it was just in his head. Um. Girl. That's a cute, cool mural. Oh, okay. Y'all, y'all ain't got locks in this house? He's not in here. He's not watching TV. Is he outside? Let's see. If he's not outside, he's probably in his room upstairs. Okay. Uh, whoops. Uh, go, go this way. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we're in upstairs. Oh my god. Where are we running to? Oh no. There's the origami. No! Wait, is he dead? We didn't see his body though. I know the origami killer always kills folks and then leaves the origami, but we didn't see his body yet. I hope that don't mean the kid's dead. Dang. I've unlocked a new bonus <laughs> after that trauma just happened. Okay, let's do let's do one more time with this detective. Tuesday at the station, 7:55 p.m. Now where the inches are in one? I don't even know what that means. Um. Take long. What does that mean? Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Who is he? Okay, hello, Mabel. G secretary. Oh, we gonna put on the, the Google Glass? He think he's somebody when he put them on. You see how his demeanor changes? Put on his like little Spider-Man suit, superhero suit. <laughs> What is that? What type of futuristic? What? Is he just gonna throw it at the wall? What, what do people see? Like, because obviously this is like in his head, but like, what do like random people see when he's just doing that? Oh, yes. Th th there's a man here for you. He really feeling himself. All right, can we get up? That man was just sitting there talking to us. Or not talking, but like looking at us. I thought he was trying to get our attention. Oh, is he done? I'm off, Charlene. I'll look is at that the who reports later. We're waiting I'll for? cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Norman. Is here. He got he got two first names. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. 
I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. Hey, Jaden, are you coming over? Wait, I, stop you yelling at me. Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you okay. know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. <laughs> okay. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming oh, a national concern. Yeah, so many dang there are buns. hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. So many controls, dang. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. <laughs> He's like the other killers. Not my problem. No. Of course not. Okay. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. We the press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. How old this man? This man can't tie his own tie. Okay, get a clip on. <laughs> oh, go see Charlie, and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Charlene. Is Charlene the lady I call Mabel? The one, the one in the front? Let's see. Collection for Larry's promotion present. Who's Larry? I don't know that man. All right. Can we, can we talk? Oh, watch. Nice watch. Oh. She's like, oh, it's the present <laughs> like we the offer Rolex. to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes Is that everybody's a fully time, protect? and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Uh, sure. Congratulate let's, Larry on my behalf. Let's be nice. I'll be sure to do Give that, Give him $5? So. All right, where's the office? Captain Perry said you could show me to my office. Yes, I don't know. I hope this Follow is one me. of those things where it's like a choice. Like, either you listen to the press conference or you go to the office. It might be one of those. Oh, you going this way? Why, why'd she go around? All right. That's the office. I like how it's called office. Why are the walls all crusty? This, this is my office? That's where I was if, told to take you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? If you need anything, you know where to find me. I can't read his tone. Okay, time to work. Okay, I don't think we can do the press conference, right? I don't think we can leave. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and sit. Why just move that off his desk? What? And also, where was that phone plugged in? I ain't see no outlets. Or moving the desk. We need to put up some decorations and clean that wall. Looks like somebody hasn't been in here in 800 years. All right, Let me put the glasses on again. Step one: change the office. Oh, from the glasses? <laughs> oh, we could use a theme. I don't know what these themes mean. What is that? I don't know. Let's select this one. What does that look like? Uh, what? What is this? Um, what does this one look like? You got a desert.
And then we have fall, or like a leaf. Let's do, let's do this one. I'm not really sure like what type of VR, like what is the purpose of this, but sure, let's do that one. Clues, files, environment. Let's look at our files. Okay, origami killer victims. Just throw them in the air. Open. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Alive for several days? Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Y'all still can't find this Not man? a single lead to go on. Okay, let's see the victims. Eight I hope Sean's not the last three years. a victim. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. That's terrible. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. Oh, no. No one notices anything. Maybe that's why they're staying Bodies with... Bodies are found three to five days later. They're staying with the Sean at the playground. In rainwater. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's look at geoanalysis. Oh no. Killing Killer kids! has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. So he's moving around pretty fast as well. Uh, let's analyze the victims. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. So he likes railroads. And all he the likes victims disappeared in the fall. Orchids. He likes little boys. <laughs> that that sounds terrible. Um. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go and do a geo analysis of the killer. No data. Okay. Um, let's analyze this as well. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He, he also, car. yeah, he has a car. He's probably employed, but the, his work allows him free time. Tracks. All right. Um, I think that's everything. That's the files. All right, let's go look at the clues. We have the tracks. The tire tracks. Yep, yeah, it's probably about his car. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. All right, what else we have? We have Orchid. The a flower mm, of the Orchid. I can't read that. species. It. That doesn't help much. Okay. And then origami figure. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Alrighty, can we do a geoanalysis where we found the origamis? Oh, same, same locations. Just one origami store in town. We can maybe go there. Um, let's see. Can we geoanalyze the orchid as well? I mean, the they're, orchid they're all is over. a common species. It can yeah. be found at any flower shop. Mm hmm. And what about the truck? Is there maybe a location for that? No data, yeah. Okay. Well, so we went over the files, we went over the clues. Pretty sure we, we, can, we can close Ari. Which is like our suit thing, which I don't know where he got that from. Oh, he's gonna fall out. The origami killer watching us too. Uh oh. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. 
All right. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully he doesn't fall out I on his way to there. Take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Oh my god. Can you call somebody? Is there an emergency contact? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Take take it. <laughs> Just snort that thing straight from the the tube. I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> He took it? Took it to the throat. I hope that was the right thing. <laughs> Watch him be found like dead in his office. He fell out in his office. What is this camera angle? This aerial shot? Oh, is that Ethan? We switching characters again? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. Oh, he disappeared? Oh, I hope he's probably the next victim. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back... He was gone. Sean had disappeared. That is so sad. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every I don't know. detail can be important. Was it like seven? It must have been about. I think that's what the time said. Oh my god, girl, I can't remember. I literally don't remember. 4.45, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to guess that because he's probably out of school. wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. That's very... I have to memorize this? Y'all, I don't remember. I think it was brown. A black coat. And a pair of pants. I think it was br I thought it was brown. Oh my god, beige. I remember his sneakers were like brown. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Exactly. Uh stayed on bet little walk. You what he did is he got Knocked I went out. for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took I thought what happened was the origami school. thing. I thought origami thing. You didn't thing. report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Uh Why can't you just explain I, what happened? I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You are not very good go, at Mars. reporting. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. You're never good to explain Dude, the whole situation. Do you think the origami killer... Girl, we can't say for sure. Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. Poor Ethan losing all his kids. But what if it is the origami killer? Lost his wife, his children. Well, then we have about four have days Having asthmatic attacks. Alive. Four days to find. Ooh, that's 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 scary. Oh no! Is this still the same sequence? Who is this? Oh, that's Grace. Something? Okay. No. All these like cuts. Nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. I'll leave his ass do too. They, we lose all of our children. Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't tell her that. What happened, Ethan? <clears throat> How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. So I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? <laughs> Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Are you gonna explain the hallucinations and stuff? Jason? That he's happening? Or maybe that, that he's having? It's not what I meant to say. We were all thinking it. It's okay. <laughs> I miss him so much. I don't know what happened <laughs> to you in their relationship. <laughs> Why did they move? Why did all these things happen? <laughs> you still sit there with your crying wife? 
or ex-wife or whatever. <laughs> She's sobbing and he's thinking into space. Y'all, this is really depressing. All the kids go and say, Ugh, why this man back? All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off right here. So we're finally actually getting into the origami killer part. Um, so apparently um, there's a guy that is killing, or somebody who's killing children, young boys um, out here. And then whenever they die, the body's always found six days after it happened or six hours or something like that. Um, and they always have an orchid on the chest and an origami thing in their hand. So that's kind of what we know exactly. The bodies are also usually moved so that, like, they were meant to be found by a certain time. So, I don't know. A lot of really interesting, uh, things are happening. We're starting to get some clues figured out. I think we're rotating between three different characters. Um, so we have the heavy set detective guy i think shelby who we'll pick up with next time um we have ethan who you know loses all his kids uh and then homie with two first names with the you know iron man spider man suit on when he puts on his glasses <laughs> so yes that's what we know so far thank you guys so much for watching um again i'm gonna see about uh, doing live streams of this game because i think it'll be fun if you guys can help me and we can sort of solve this together in the chat um so i'll keep working on that but yeah in the meantime i hope you guys enjoyed this like super long video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all